find you what you need. Do not answer that door when you hear a knock. I repeat, do not answer that door when you hear a knock. Over the last 10 plus years, I've been tracking a very disturbing pattern that's been happening. A recent news article reached out to me a, re- a recent um, uh, a journalist reached out to me as they were doing uh, an, a story on this topic. And I said that I thought it would be a really great idea to do a podcast about this as well, because it's such a widespread problem. Contractor scams, roofing scams, painter scams, you name it, they're happening as we speak, as I record this. I'm sure there are some that are going on right now. You need to do your homework. As a homeowner, you need to do a an extreme level of due diligence before letting anybody even in your front door. As the article written by Christian Larson says, There are workers disguised as roofing contractors and they're notorious for knocking on homeowners doors and offering to inspect the roofs at no cost. Then they would claim that there's issues with the roof before demanding upfront costs for repair. Now to assume that there's something going on with a roof, an issue as a homeowner is almost a given. There's going to always be something that might need repairs. As a homeowner, anybody who's been a homeowner, you'll get that. But what's happening now is a lot of these scammers are targeting seniors and even worse, those who are disabled and a little bit more vulnerable which is why it makes me so irate. And it's also the reason that I created a program to fight this because these scammers have even had an effect on my family. They've, they've gotten very close to doing some serious damage to my in-laws property. And once it crosses my front door, it's personal. So every roofer, every contractor, anyone out there trying to run a scam, I'm the wrong guy. I'm the wrong guy to piss off. I know more than you do. I come from a family with over a hundred years experience in construction. I know what the language is and I know when there's something actually wrong with a house. I'm not a roofer or a painter or a contractor, but I know enough about properties to tell you that if you're concerned about anything to do with your home, you should always start with the basics. And that means you hire a home inspector to come in and give you a full report. I actually suggest that you do that every couple of years anyways, whether you've been in the house for five years or 50 years, every couple of years, it wouldn't be a bad idea to find out what's going on with your house, what needs work and what needs to be improved. Because to be honest with you, if someone's buying your house in five or 10 years and they've noticed that you've been doing home inspections every few years just to keep up. Not only does your home maintain its value, but you may actually exceed market value because of that. And there's a lot of people out there who've lost hundreds of thousands of dollars by not doing the upkeep. So doing the right work that actually needs to be done, that's a very different story than this. So my rule of thumb is that you should have, and this is you and your loved ones, you should have a doorbell camera of some kind. There are a variety of them out there. They're pretty affordable now. You should have one installed at your front door. 
attached to the doorbell camera or somewhere on your door, you should have a little a little card that says, I do not donate at the door or buy items or services at the door. And anyone knocking or ringing the doorbell will be recorded while doing so. It's very important that you change the way you are even if you're used to answering the door for everyone it's a very different world i don't want any of you getting scammed or even worse hurt by some of these people that might be desperate because there are people out there that are desperate to tell you that there's something wrong with your house and they might be able to help you with it and there might there might not be anything wrong with that as i said in the article it hasn't been getting any better it's only getting worse and the sad truth is that there's always going to be bad people in every industry so the fact is you do not want to be exposed to those bad people because once they get in and i've read about these guys i study this like it like as if i've uh, like as if i'm in a school classroom I study this stuff I read about it I actually read about one particular contractor that was nicknamed the termite and the reason he was nicknamed that is because once he gets in it's impossible to get him out and that's what these guys will do if they can get in on one job they'll start telling you what else is wrong with your house and next thing you know you're thousands of dollars in the hole and your house might not even be fixed. That's the bigger problem. So this is why I'm creating, or sorry, this is why I've created a program over the years that has been helpful, very helpful to protect people from those scammers. It's called the Renovation Bootcamp Experience. The link for this program is right in this podcast. So you just need to go down into the description of the podcast and you'll see again, the link to the story and the link to this program. I suggest that you look at both of them very thoroughly and make sure that you're doing everything possible to protect yourself and those that you care about, those that, you know, maybe that can't protect themselves those are who those who are vulnerable and as an added incentive in case none of that is enough motivation for you if if that's not enough incentive by signing up for renovation boot camp you're also going to be getting an absolutely free homeowners discount and savings card that will save you approximately that it's valued at approximately five thousand dollars meaning that there are a variety of services and programs and products all over the city including local attractions including sports all this kind of cool stuff so there's a really good incentive for you to be a smarter homeowner and it really makes a difference to me if you are being proactive about this even if you have no desire to hire anybody sign up for the program get started on this educate yourself of course bring other people i love it when there's the the more the merrier so invite your entire family make sure they know about this share this podcast with them it's the only way we can take care of each other is if we act like a family okay we protect each other and make sure that none of this stuff none of the bad people can get through and if you follow these directions you're going to really limit the amount of these guys who will try to pull a fast one on you and i hope they never do and if you ever want to reach out to me for any reason you can always do so via email paul.indrigo at c21.ca if you've got a question or realestatepodcastshow.com. There's a million ways to reach me for the most part. But I really just want to make sure that you have the right resources to protect you. This is such an important topic. And I think that everyone should have the maximum protection going forward. I hope this has been helpful. Please kindly share this podcast with those you think might need it. And... When you're done listening, be sure to 
head over to the Apple Podcasts app and leave me a review. Let me know what you think about the podcast because it does help get the podcast into more ears, more listeners uh, that might need to hear this information. Thanks for tuning in.